Jim, what, what do you see as a key thing in school security? Well, I'm going to lose your vote. <laughs> um, I'm an ex-police officer, as I said, and I just find it absurd that you would have a gun-free zone where if some crazy person wants to do the most damage, they're going to go to the gun-free zone to do it. When was the last time you heard of someone going into an NRA co convention? Unless they have a death wish, they're not going to do it. Or even a Republican convention here in New Hampshire. Um, there are a lot of people in New Hampshire that know how to use guns, the train. Um, I still train, even though I'm not a police officer. Um, the more people that are in the school that have guns, and the kids won't know because it's concealed, I think the safer your children are going to be. And not only that, it also comes to the fact that I have a right to protect myself. And if you make a school gun-free, I can't protect myself to the best of my ability. And I can't protect my students, and that's important too. I'm in charge of those students. If something happens, I'm supposed to protect them. If somebody comes in my classroom with a gun, I can't protect them unless I could shoot back. And I just think we need to start thinking about that. When you make a place gun-free, it opens the door to crazy people to say, I can go in here and I know this is one resource officer that may be able to, to get me, but I know where he is. If he doesn't know what teachers are carrying, I think it'll make the school a lot safer. And, that, and I mean people that are trained with guns. We have a lot of people in New Hampshire that hunt, that do uh, practice with their you know, rifles and pistols. So I don't think it's that absurd for New Hampshire to do this. Mr. Feltus. Bruce, thank you for the question. Um, I think what you saw over the last several months, including a group called the Social Justice League, high school kids uh, around the state combining together to raise their voice and elevate their voice about the key issues in schools to make themselves feel comfortable. And I had the honor of reading some of their stories on the Senate floor when we had a debate over clarifying the law whether or not school boards could prohibit guns uh, on school property. The Social Justice League, they organized, by the way, the biggest rally at the State House ever. The biggest rally. No politician was there. No politician spoke, and they got together and had the biggest rally because they want change, and they're not getting it. And something as simple as enabling legislation, local control, for school boards to have the debate. Maybe some people will come on the side of the scene, some people will come on the side where I think it makes sense and you, can, you have the flexibility to have a resource officer be armed still, but prohibit uh, firearms, to have that debate at the local level, at least allow that. That made good sense. Unfortunately, our Republican colleagues in the Senate said no. And you know what? On this issue, on this issue, some people get in their sides and just say no. That's not the way to legislate. You have to be open-minded. You have to be able to give, give and take. You're not going to get everything you want. But just saying no on something this critical is not the way we should go. So. Clarifying that, enabling legislation at a minimum, closing background check loopholes, those kinds of things I think are important. I also think in the, the spectrum of tools, you saw that uh, there are a number of things that have been recommended in the Governor's Commission and others about mental health, early intervention services, supporting our guidance counselors, supporting our schools more. Uh, there's more that we can do, and some of it is related to mental health, and 90% uh, of the gun deaths in the state of New Hampshire are, uh, uh, are suicide. And uh, we need to get a handle on that. And we're underfunding mental health. Mental health rates haven't increased since 2006. So a lot more we can talk about mental health, but those are some of the things that we need to do. Thank you. Mr. Walensky, would you like to comment on